When Edmonton said its new library would be fit for the stars, it wasn't thinking about these stars. The pylon hasn't stopped, suggesting someone took a wrong turn to Gotham City. Comparing the new building to Soviet relics, some say it looks nothing like the initial designs. The city says, hang on, it isn't finished yet. I'd ask people to suspend judgment. I know um, criticism is a summer sport here in Edmonton. And the keyboard warriors were out to score. One city councillor starting a naming contest. His suggestion, Bibliotank. Pouring salt into the wound, that other Alberta city got its own new library last fall. Everyone loves it and, big surprise, Calgarians are ready to say who's got the better building. It's uh, settled down, yeah. We do. <laughs> I cannot compare with this one. Calgary spent three times as much money, $245 million compared to Edmonton's 85. And some say Edmonton skimped. We had just come off a big raft of public spending on rec centers, the arena. So perhaps we didn't want to spend that much, but we needed to spend enough to do the job. The project did go through several design changes. We found a couple of fans, sort of. To me, it looks like a landed spaceship. Yeah, I don't know, it's okay, I like it, it's fine. I really like the shape and the overall design, but the siding is... The library and its designers say that siding is all the rage in Europe and reflects heat, allowing the building to stay cool. We had to balance the exterior aesthetics, the interior service plan, along with the fiscal restraints that we were working with. People won't get a chance to see the inside until spring. Meanwhile, it's clear the library is keeping a close eye on the controversy. Rafi Bujikani on CBC News, Edmonton.